We're at New Frontiers 2016. Um, I'm Melina Siegfried and I'm here with Justine Dorr from Landcare Research, General Manager. Um, Justine, tell us a little bit about uh, what you do at Landcare Research. Well, I'm one of the, um, the Science General Managers and um, we're New Zealand's National Environmental Research Institute for the country. And we work on a, a whole range of environmental issues, everything from soils through to insect pests, through to mammalian pests, uh, through to um, forest ecosystems and it, pretty much everything in between, everything on the land. Right, and um, are you, what are the biggest problems that uh, I guess you're finding in New Zealand around these areas? Well, I think there's a, there's a range of pressures caused by um, humans, human involvement in, in the land, um, the pressures that humans have on our ecosystems and our, and our landscapes. Um, but particularly um, climate change is also a big driver of change in our landscapes and it puts pressures on our native species, it puts pressures in terms of um, risks, things like flooding, natural events, etc. all has an impact. And we do a lot of work uh, around information, making uh, environmental research information available to everyone. So we do a lot of work around mapping New Zealand's forestry, um, understanding wetlands, um, new ways to, to control pests, whether they're insect pests or whether they're possums, they all have an impact on our ecosystems. And we also do a lot of information um, around soils, around plants, etc. Right, so how is that information applied to, I guess, inform land use or, or what we do here with the land? Yeah, that's, um, we often do a, a, a lot of that type of work, helping people understand what the pressures are on the New Zealand ecosystem and environments, and also taking response, doing the right thing, doing the best thing. Um, and sometimes the best thing is what's good, appropriate environmentally, and sometimes it's also what's also possible economically. So we believe we can have optimal choices, the best possible choices around the land for people, but also for, for the environment. So, so some of the ways that we, we help is that we um, provide councils with really high quality information around soils. We run the National Soil Mapping Program uh, for the country. Uh, we're still working on that, but everyone wants to know about their soils and how uh, they perform, what that means um, on farm, particularly as we're very concerned in New Zealand about our waterways, the freshwater quality, can our people swim in them, um, can you take uh, food from the rivers, and there are some regulatory limits that we try and help uh, inform. Right, so we, we do hear quite a lot in New Zealand around um, freshwater quality issues. Are there similar issues that are facing our soils that we don't hear so much about? Yeah, that's a, it's a really good question. Um, people often focus on the waterways because that's where they recreate, that's where they relax. Those are things, places that are really culturally important. S land, there's so much more of it. It's all got soil underneath it um, and the soils are, are pretty critical. But for some reason in New Zealand, uh, we map and we understand and we research a lot about our, our forestry systems around our waterways, around our wetlands, and that's important but we still don't know enough about our soils. We, we still are, are trying to understand our soils. We're a lot further behind, um, and I think it's really important to understand what are the characteristics of our soils? How do they behave when it's very rainy or when there's a lot of intensive agriculture on our soils? And in fact, Nanki Research, you know, we do a lot of work around understanding that and making, helping farmers, helping councils, helping the national departments, the government departments, make better decisions about land use on soils. Right, so how, how are you providing that information, I guess, to the public or to farmers? Well, uh, well, all of it's online. When we have information, we're a publicly funded entity largely, and whenever it's publicly funded, we have a huge commitment to what we call open data, data online, information online. So we run um, a, a number of online information portals you can, they have very exciting maps um, that are nicely coloured and they have a great amount of information and data that sit behind them. So we, we make that all available. Uh, one of our big products is, or our portals, is called SMAP Online, Soils Map Online. And uh, when you go on there, you can, you can get a, a huge information resource. We, we have a lot of land resource inventory information that you can get, anyone can just log on and, and find. Um, and use because we believe in open data and um, the, the, the benefits of, of New Zealanders being able to access that. 
And in, in particular, um, Lanky Research is actually the custodian of seven of New Zealand's 25 nationally significant collections and databases. Those are national science assets for the country and we maintain and improve them for, for all New Zealanders. So all of that information, when it's a national collection or database, is definitely made available online for people to use and make better decisions about land. Oh, that sounds like quite a wealth of information that you're holding on to. Are there any um, other exciting big projects or things that you're ex particularly passionate about working on coming up in the future? Yes, well, I think we, we trialled something last year in November um, in New Zealand. We, we ran um, a very first uh, hackathon based off environmental research information. It was called Nature Hack. Uh, it was run in collaboration with Callaghan Innovation, and, and, and we used that information, that uh, huge data sets about our land, about our forests, about our insects, about our native biota, our biology, our species, and we let loose, you know, 45 hackers from all across the ICT and creative communities um, and with some amazing results came out of that. So we're quite keen to try to do more of this type of innovation. How do we get better value and relevance from this incredible investment by the Crown in, in science and research around the natural environment? So this year, 2016, we're coming up with a few initiatives to really get better value and engage New Zealanders with with this work, with this research and the information. Yeah, that sounds like some fantastic opportunities for uh, cross-sector collaboration there. That's right. We, we often do work with a range of other um, organisations, whether it's other research providers or our users. Māori uh, landowners in particular have a huge information need at the minute about their land, how to unlock the potential of that land. Um, and at the heart of every land use decision or land management decision is good information. So that's really one of the critical roles that, that Lanky Research plays in the, in the New Zealand science system. But we need to do it collaboratively. Um, that's one thing that I think the New Frontier has really you know, shown us is, is that working together you can get there faster and better than working on your own. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Justin. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.